Well, hello and welcome to our new series, which replaces Alonka. So, this one is called Survival Through the Years. We're starting off in 1950, as you can see up the top there. We have a limited supply of kit. We have a limited bit of land. Uh, and we are going to be going through, and every year, we're going to progress five years. Well, either five or ten years in terms of machinery. I haven't decided yet. So the, as you can see here, the land that we've got is this section here, which includes the farm, which has a pig sty in it, a big grassland area up here, and a field at the moment of corn. In terms of equipment, we have this corn harvester here, and the, bolted onto the front of that is this Zeta, 10,111. Amazing. We also have a McCormick Standard with the trailer on the back. This is our trailer pulling tractor. We have a mower and we have a windrower. We currently have no method of picking it up. Picking up grass, that is. Uh, we have a two row planter, but no seed. And we have this little machine here which is our only way of cultivating and seeding. Uh, oh no, we've got no way of seeding. We've got no seeder either. So we've got the two row planter though. So we can plant more corn. I think corn is going to be the thing that is going to get us off the ground. As you can see, we're starting with zero pounds. The rules of this series are quite simple. Um, we can obviously only use machinery which has the year marker on it. So there will be machines currently in, as you can see here, if we go into tethers, you can see these two machines are clearly not from 1950. We're not allowed to use those because they are too new. Uh, likewise, in tractors and things like that, you can get things like this, which are clearly not from 1950 as well, um, as well as a few bits and pieces that are here. We're not allowed to use any of those. We're only allowed to use the ones with the years on. So. As you can see, our McCormick is from 1939, and our Zeta. I've broken my own rule. Hmm. Oh dear. Right, I might have to fix that. That is a shame. So, what have we got? We've got the McCormick there. Uh, have we got anything from... Let's see, that not 390T is not. Oh dearie me. Well, it looks like I've messed up already. No, no date on that. Smashing. I need something with a bit of horsepower. Uh, well, that's got a lot of horsepower, but. Uh, also is not I think we'll stick with the Zeta for now yes <laughs> anyone if anyone knows when that Zeta is, was created then that would be wonderful to know but at the moment that's what we've got so as the corn isn't ready we're going to zoom through on into uh, September so if we sleep now until eight o'clock tomorrow morning we'll be in September and the corn should be ready Here we are, good morning. Ah. Turns out uh, it looks like I've got a horrific loan. Ah. What happened there in finances? This is not a good start. Not a good start at all. Yes, I have got a horrific loan. Um. Well, we need to get rid of that straight away. Property maintenance is quite high. Loan interest, obviously, quite high. And misc, well, that'll be all the stuff I've bought. So, <sighs> right. Uh, 
let's get rid of said loan. One nine four six three four point four three. That'll do. Make special repayment. There we go. Hmm. So it looks like we have got one more month to pay that off, but that's okay. Right, so. Let's set the money back to zero. Fantastic. And the corn is still not ready. So let's move forward on to October. And here we are now in October. That's much better with a property maintenance fee of £175. And yes, the corn is ready. So, we are playing with a number of mods, including combine experience and things like that that I haven't used before. Um, ooh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, clearly the brakes are absolutely rubbish on this thing. Okay, that looks good to me, it is harvesting, so fantastic, great news, foot to the floor and we're going 3 miles per hour, so excellent, the power consumption for this thing is obviously higher than the tractor's got, but that's what we have to deal with when we're using old uh, machinery. Well, now that we are underway, we shall get going and we should be doing all right. Right, well, that's 93% of a hopper. Let's jump into the McCormick. Start the engine, and we will head out to collect that harvest. Be very careful coming down there, because that is quite a slope. Right. What we need to do is to get underneath that and then jump back into the Zeta and get it emptied. Hopefully that's close enough. Uh, it doesn't appear to be now. So, we edge it closer. There. I wonder if we can now Hmm. How does that empty? I think it does hinge around there, but clearly 
not like that. Well, not into that trailer, maybe. I don't know. Folding is not allowed while the tool is filled, so I must be able to empty it without the tool folded. Maybe it's because the, uh, yeah, maybe it's because that trailer has a hot, too high a tip point. Uh, well, that's up to me. Uh, I don't have a silo. Um, what I do have is this manure and slurry point a grab, but I don't think the grab worked on things like this. Oh, I do have a grain silo, it's up here, so it could tip this straight into the grain silo, and then take it out into the other trailer. Uh, although, getting in there to tip it is going to be quite difficult. I wonder if we have to open the doors first. Possibly. But this isn't going to be super easy this in here. Hopefully it's quite a big trigger. I don't know. Right, if we get that through there. And we'll back it up this way. Mm, we have to get even closer. Well, this isn't what I really had in mind, if I'm honest. It would have been nice to get it into that other trailer, but if I can get it into here... Great, but it doesn't appear that I can. Oh. Come on, that should be close enough, surely. What am I not doing right? Pipe out, oh. That's what I'm not doing right. Oh, for goodness sake. Maybe I could load that other trailer after all. I was just pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, in fact, it might even be easier to do that other trailer than it is to come here and uh, get stuck here. Right. Well, with that, all that green in suspended animation. Ah, oh, start overloading corn. Why would I? Oh, into the pig. I don't think we want to put corn in the pig's enclosure just yet. I would love to put it in this trailer though. Aha! Oh good lord! What on earth is going on here? Well at least it's going into the trailer anyway. That is a little bit... Is it blowing away in the wind? It's just blowing all over the tractor? Good lord. Well, we have a trailer that is now over half full. So, fantastic. Um, we're going to leave that there. Put this back down again. And then we can carry on with the harvest. That was definitely an experience. Right, uh, well, here we go, I guess. We'll crack on and get the rest done.
Well, there we are. So we've got a trailer full and 446 litres in here. So I think what we want to do is to get that sold and ideally get a pit. We need to get a pit and we need to get a or rent a forage wagon. Uh, so 2,500 in here. Oh dear, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a pit with what we've got. Let's have a quick look. We've got corn. Oh, that's not looking good. Uh, it looks like we have to wait till January for the best price. November obviously being the worst price because that's when it's harvested. But then it shoots up to January. So I'd say that there was a good chance that maybe waiting till January was the best thing to do because at the minute it's about half the pro half the money it could fetch, which is a bit of a bit of a pain, if I'm honest. Um, this tractor's struggling uphill with it. Come on, little McCormick, you can do it. I'm going to go put it into the silo that we've got up here. Ooh, that might have been a... Yep, that was a bit of a... Bit of an optimistic drive up that hill there. As we can see, the back wheel's spinning and sinking into the floor. We'll go around this way then. So it has got a PTO on this tractor, however it has not got a three point linkage, which makes certain things quite difficult, like mowing, which means the Zeta tractor is going to be the one that I'm going to use to pick up the, uh, or to do the mowing. Right. Worn into there. Obviously, we have zero money. Absolutely zero money. We cut the grass, then we can't do anything with it. We can cut it and row it, but then we can't do anything with it until January, and we can get paid for the corn. So, we might have to do that. Unfortunately. Okay. Let's get the rest of this put it into the trailer. Oh, now that's coming out at all sorts of angles. Dear me. Something going on there. Anyway, that's it all out of the harvester now. There are jobs I can be getting on with, such as cultivation work and things like that. But, yeah. At the moment, very difficult to do anything else. I think we will get this area cultivated up, uh, but in the next episode. At the minute, we just need to get this corn into the silo. Oil pressure's up. That's good. As long as it's not too up. Okay. Get this back down to the silo and get it unloaded. Can't wait to use that manure crane when we've got manure, but we're not going to have that for a while. We also need to have a look at what it is that pigs eat. So, if we have a look, uh, I don't think we've got Maze Plus on. Can't remember if I added it in or not. 
That's not going to tell me. Um, right. Animals, pigs. Here we go. So, corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sorghum, and sugar beets. Okay. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, not a lot else I can do. I can cut that grass, but I'll do that in the next episode. So, we have it. There we have it. Our first harvest. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.